Welcome back to Ayaz Tech. In this video, I will show you how to upload your website by using GitHub on the Hostinger. So, right now, I want to upload this simple website on my hosting, hostinger.com. And right now, this website is open in my VS Code. And uh, I am going to create a new repository. And click on the create repository. That will create a new repository for you. Now, copy the URL. So you can use whatever you prefer, HTTPS or SSH. And initialize that Git repo in your project now type git remote add origin and paste the url that you copied from the github website now commit all of these changes and push it okay after you have pushed your code to your repository Go back to GitHub and make sure that's, that your files are uploaded. Reload it and you will see that all of the files are uploaded. Now, go back to your Hostinger account and click on the Manage button. Now, scroll down to find the Git. Click on the Git. And here, you will see this form. Here, you have to provide the URL of the repository that you want to upload. So for that, click on the code and copy. Click on the SSH and click on the copy. And go back here and paste that URL here. After that, you here you have to specify the directory in your hostinger uh, where you want to upload the website. So it, it must be empty as it is saying. So, but if you are already using the public underscore HTML and you want to upload it in somewhere else, then make sure to specify the name of that folder. For my case, I want to upload it to the uh, subfolder that is linked with a subdomain that is uh, test.iastech. So right now, uh, any uh, a different website is uploaded on this domain. I would like to use test folder to upload my code. So click on the create button. So as you can see that the, this directory is not empty. So I will go back to the file manager. And make sure to make it empty. So open the public HTML folder, go to the test folder and now delete all of these files. All right. Now, again, go to the Git section and copy paste the URL of the Git and paste it here. Now type the name of the directory. Obviously, I want to use the test folder. Now click on the create button. All right, if, if, if everything is fine and correct, then it will create this entry for you and you will see this information here. Before clicking on the deploy button, please make sure to add the SSH key in your GitHub. So let's reload it. And you should see a code that is provided by the hostinger. This is the SSH ssh key copy it and go back to your repository click on the setting button and click on the deploy keys click on the add deploy key and paste the ssh key uh, and type the title whatever you want to use we don't want to give it right access because we just want to use read this repository just to copy the files to deploy on the hosting. So click on the add key. Now you can see that it has added my key. And all right. Now, as we have added uh, 
the security key. So now we can test it. Right now, if I reload this subdomain, you will see that nothing is uploaded here yet. Now, if I click on the deploy button, then it will read my GitHub repository and upload it on my subdomain in the test folder. So, all right, the website has been uploaded to that subdomain. So that's mean everything worked correctly. Now, we also want to enable automated deployments. What is the meaning of that? The meaning of that is that whenever you make any change in your GitHub repository, then it would detect that change immediately and it will deploy your changes immediately on that subdomain on your hosting. So let's click on that. And it is give, asking us to do something. So it is saying that set up webhook on the GitHub. So for that, now click on this URL. So here you can see that on this page, you need to provide the URL. So go back here, copy this URL and paste it here. Okay. Now click on the add webhook. All right. So after that is done, we will go back our go back to our VS code and make some changes to see if uh, everything works fine. So, so this is my local server right now. I want to make sure that if I make any change, that should reflect here before uploading online. So here I am going to type IAS tech and save it. So you can see that IAS tech is added in the logo section i want to add it in the heading area as well so I'll replace it with iastic and you can see that this heading has been updated so now i will commit this change and upload on the github and then we will refresh the subdomain on the hostinger to see if the changes are live or not here so i'm going to stage my changes hit commit m and now i'm going to commit now i have pushed my changes to the master so after that is done i will go back uh, to my subdomain that is test.iastech.com All right, you can see that my changes have been deployed successfully to my Hostinger hosting. So that's how you can upload your <coughs> GitHub website and that's how you can enable automated deployments. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.